Welcome to my channel, Audrey's Backstory. If you are interested in knowing the backstory to the weekly international Sunday school lessons, you are at the right place. Today, I want to offer you two ways to understand a backstory. Stay tuned for that little gem that will work to your advantage. The International Sunday School Lesson for Sunday, March 20th, 2022 is entitled Free to Celebrate based on Ezra chapter 6 verses 13 through 22 NIV. The backstory. Let's begin. We are still in the book of Ezra. Now for a quick review. At this point, under the auspices of Zerubbabel, the Jewish exiles have rebuilt the temple's foundation. The Persian officials sent a letter to Darius wanting to know by whose authority were the Jewish exiles rebuilding the temple. In response to this letter, King Darius launched a search to find the scroll slash decree that King Cyrus declared giving permission to the exiles to rebuild the temple. The decree was found not in Babylon, but in Ekbatana, located about 285 miles northeast of Babylon. King Darius issued three commands in relations to the Jews' rebuilding project. One, no one was to interfere with the rebuilding efforts. Two, the king's resources, including tax money, were to be used to fund the project while animals and other supplies for the Jews' offerings were to be provided daily. And three, a terrible fate was to befall anyone who disobeyed the king's edict. This decree was to be carried out with diligence. The temple was of utmost value to the Jews because it was the place of God's presence, according to 1 Kings chapter 8, verses 27 through 30. First came the construction, then the dedication. The Temple of Solomon's Time, or the Temple that Solomon Built. The Temple that Solomon Built underwent the same steps, construction and dedication. Sacrifices were also made. Then the people celebrated the construction. King Ahaz was evil and did not do what was right in the eyes of the Lord. The highly unfavorable king made changes in the temple, according to 2 Kings chapter 16, verses 17 through 18. He removed certain parts, cut off side panels, removed the basins from the movable stands, and removed the sea from bronze bulls and set it on a stone base. Responses of a faithful leader. The opposite of King Ahaz's unfaithful leadership was King Josiah, a faithful leader. King Josiah reinstituted the Passover and made every effort to keep the temple holy as it was meant to be. Josiah also rid Judah and Jerusalem of all detestable things, such as mediums, spiritualists, household gods, and just gods in general. Let us look at two ways to understand a backstory. One, visualize the events slash plot. What parts of this backstory were you able to see in your mind's eye? Two, make connections to personal experiences, to the world, and or to previous readings. Are there any parts of this backstory you can relate to yourself, to the world, or to your previous readings? 
Using one or both of these two ways will increase your understanding and foster a more enjoyable introduction to each week's Sunday School lesson. If you enjoyed this backstory, join me next time for the upcoming backstory. Remember, please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and share my channel. Thank you for watching.